What is this charity chest? I oh, know it doesn't work. I'll pass this over to Steve, who knows a little bit more about it than myself. OK, yeah. Well, um, all the football clubs across the uh, Football League and the Premier League have community schemes, and um, they play for the Community Shield at the start of the year, which is the league champions, the Premier League winners against the FA Cup winners. And the proceeds of the game is split up between all the community schemes across the country. So our share, we had to decide where we'd like to send it. And uh, because you've got such a fabulous sporting school here, we thought that the money would be well used here. So we, we decided amongst a few other entries that your school would be worthy winners of uh, uh, receiving our donation. There was £4,000, but I took two for myself. <laughs> <laughs> is that all right? Is that all right? <laughs> No, well, really it's going to help towards isn't. my holiday, really isn't it, with the family? Yeah. I need help towards the holiday. I'm not playing anymore. You don't need it, Steve. I do. I've stopped oh. playing now. I haven't got anything. <laughs> you <laughs> have. Joking. How did you know about Victoria School and that? Well, it's my favourite school. I've actually been here on a, a few times before. Um, but Steve... You know how the school was chosen, don't you? Yeah, well, we had a little look around at different schools and um, actually we saw something in the press about um, some sporting achievements that you've been doing over the course of the year and it, it stuck with, uh, with me throughout the time. And when I was asked by the football secretary who did I think may be worthy of uh, receiving the donation, I thought of the school because of all the, all the success you've had in sport. Um, so that's why we decided to choose you. So hopefully you'll use the money wisely and um, it'll be a great benefit to you. Not yeah. on trainers and new outfits, <laughs> nothing like that. I thought it would be good to ask as well, who who decides who's involved in actually presenting the charity chest check? Yeah. Is it? Well, again, I think it's um, from the football club. Um, obviously, Steve's player ambassador, uh, as part of his role, is, is, to, is to come out and... Uh, work with the community scheme and I'm manager of the community sports trust so the two of us were selected today to come along to the school but we didn't take much persuasion we wanted to come to I just so wanted to get out of the yeah. office that was for <laughs> 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 no yeah it's good I'd go into a lot of schools we do a yeah. lot of things around the community I am but um, since I retired at the end of last season I'm now ambassador for the football club and um, chief scout which is like head of recruitment so I have two jobs and my ambassador role takes me all around Dorset really, you know, I go into businesses, I go into charities, I go into schools and I think it's important that the football club is seen to be working with the community, working in schools and not just what we call giving lip service and saying yes we need to do it, we actually do it and with the help of Steve and the community side we actually go out there and every week I will do two, three, four events where I go into schools, um, like I say charity events, businesses and promote the football club and represent the football club. That's what I do. I, I've been at Bournemouth Football Club for 21 years um, and I now have the role of ambassador and I think it's important that I go out into the community and, and support schools like yourselves and, and, and promote things fabulous like you've got, you know, the, the check for £2,000. I think it's really important. What's the best thing about being involved in football? Um, I think the best thing about being a footballer is you're actually... Not, not just getting paid because people say, oh, you get paid for something you enjoy doing. Yes, you do. But, you know, it is your life. It is what you, you know, you've got to pay the bills. You've got to pay the mortgage. But I think it's, it's just doing something you love. The fact you get paid for it is an added bonus. But to be able to play football for, for myself for 24 years, um, you know, we play in the streets when we're kids. And, you, you know, we play for, for local football teams when we're younger. But to do it professionally uh, as a job and for so many years, it was just something I could never have dreamed of when, when I was a child um, growing up. So for me, it was just the love uh, of playing the game, um, of the sport that I, you know, I always wanted to do. There's a lot of, you get a lot of you know, plaudits with it. You, know, you get a lot of time off. You train maybe four or five times a week uh, for a couple of hours, so you have a lot of time with your family. I don't at the moment because I've retired, but I did do for 20-odd for years. Um, and yeah, you get paid, you also get paid for, for for doing the job, which you have to get paid. You know, I mean, obviously we know people in the Premier League get paid ridiculous amounts. We don't in the in the Championship, but you know, at the end of the day, I do have a family. I have two children of my own. I have to support them, and to be doing a job like that and getting paid for it. But you got to be professional. You know, it's not just turning up playing football. You have to be professional on and off the pitch. Uh, there's a lot goes into being a footballer now, a lot more than it ever used to be. Um, but I just lo I just love doing it. Love playing football. You know, I still play now. I've retired. I still play five a side, two or three times a week. I can't stop that. I've just got a love for the game. Steve, what about you? At yeah, football club? It's, a, it's a little bit different for me because I never played professionally. But, you know, when I wasn't good enough to play professional football, it was 
coaching that I turn to and you know fortunate a bit like Steve I've been involved in the game now for 20 years on a on a on a coaching and community level <laughs> and been at Bournemouth for 12 years as as head of community and absolutely love it it's a fantastic club and for me to get out into the community and coach and be able to play football and take football out to the schools and to, to all the young children is a fabulous job and I've enjoyed every minute of it and it's flown by the 12 years that I've been at Bournemouth and uh, hopefully we'll have a few more years uh, to keep to be able to keep doing it as well. Do you think we can still win the playoffs? Um, I think it's virtually impossible. I mean, we have to go to Millwall on the last game of the season uh, and win 8 9 nil, and hope yeah. you know the teams above us get beat 3 or 4. It's not going to happen. Um, I think we're going to I think we will beat Millwall. I really do. Um, the other teams might win above us as well, which would mean we'd, we'd finish just a couple of points behind the playoffs. But even if they don't, you know, and we finish level on goals, but we miss out on the goal average, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic achievement either way. Um, because only six weeks ago we were in the low half of the league, and then we won five in a row and put ourselves in a yeah. in an unbelievable position with a massive chance of, or an outside chance of of getting in the playoffs. And you know, we. We, over the Easter period, we only took one point from two games. Um, I think if we'd have beat Sheffield, maybe, and then got one point at Ipswich like we did, I think we'd be in the playoffs. But that's football, as they say, and you can't win every game. I think it was a big ask for a new team in the Championship. Um, Great for a first season. For a first season, the boys have done absolutely wonders, I think. you know, in a, It's a good base to build on for the future. Yeah. And I think on top of that as well, we've just had the most memorable season in terms of Real Madrid and Liverpool yeah. coming to play. Who'd have thought, you know, even a couple of years ago, that we'd be able to host the likes of uh, Real Madrid and Liverpool in, a, in the same season and finish so well up in the Championship? So it's, you know, it's been a memorable season for us. And as you say, hopefully we can, you know, maybe push on again next season. But it's been really good so far. Would be when I retired, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I picked the wrong time to retire, didn't I, last season? Yeah. Yeah. Which is the best player? Which is our best player this season? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah it's difficult. I think you know a lot of um, teams we play against um, and people I've because now I'm chief scout. I go around the country watching other games and I have a lot of people come up to me and they're just very much complimentary of how we play as a team. They always say you haven't got any individual stars. Of course, we've got good players, but we haven't got like a Ronaldo in the team, um, someone who stands out. You know, obviously you you would look at Lewis Graben because he scored 21 goals, but you know it takes you know, Stephen Cooks at the back and Simon Francis, who's won Player of the Year, uh, you Matt Ritchie, uh, Harry Hart as a midfielder. I think we're just a good, strong team who is not full of individuals. We've just got a good work ethic, and we've got good players. Um, if you ask me to put my hand on my heart and say who do I think should have been Player of the Year? I would probably say I'm I'm a striker, so I'm going to go with Lewis Graben just because he got 21 goals. But you need people to cross the ball for them goals. You need people from midfield supplying the ball to for Lewis to get the chances. But with 21 goals in his first season in the Championship, um, I think it was a he's done a monumental. It's a monumental effort. But I think we more we're more of a team than than an individual, and I think that's why we've had our success. Yeah, I, I would say that this year. You got to play well to get into you know, like the semi-finals and the quarter-finals and stuff. If you want to do well, you got to you know, make the effort to improve on that level. If you want to get to the semi-finals, I think you're right. I think that's one of the one of the highlights of the football club in in Eddie Howe being the manager is the players train and they and they get coached every day and they want to get better. And as Steve says, we've got a great work ethic within the squad and. You know they enjoy training, they enjoy working, and, and uh, they want to get better. And this season has been great. And uh, with all the hard work they'll put in, hopefully we can keep on improving. The more effort you put in, the more you get out of it. They have seen more of the team. No one is perfect or playing football because everybody starts certain of the playing different levels of football and different levels of skills in football. Because not every player is perfect at playing at a difficult level. Because to be able to get to that level, you need really need to practice, and it's quite hard to do if if you haven't had loads of practice doing that. I think that's important and as Steve said before I think the, the Community Sports Trust going out into the schools and giving everyone the opportunity to play so you know you're right in what you're saying the elite players at the, at the top end of the game they will practice to get better but 
it, football's to be enjoyed and whether you can get the opportunity to play five a side once a week or at after school club or at your lunch time you're going to enjoy it and you know, whatever level you play at, it's, it's certainly a game to be enjoyed. And, and if you keep practising, then you get better and better. He said no one was perfect, I thought I was. <laughs> no? OK, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Everybody's got faults, that's why you've got to train and work on them. Yeah. In everything you do, not just yeah. football, everything. Yeah, it's all about the skills, but also you've got to be able to enjoy yourself Absolutely, and yeah. keep focus on the game and not get distracted yeah distraction is the biggest thing if you're distracted you will not concentrate and if you don't concentrate you won't do well you're exactly right thanks for coming in thank you for having us really? thank you very much lovely can I have a coaching job please what? yeah you can have Steve's job in a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can I have you can be Wimborne town manager yeah. Yeah. Tom what's your job playing yeah uh, I definitely want that job